Sophie, welcome to Pharmacoms TV and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Can you talk about the roundtable topic you had today at uh, the IFA Pharma conference on the most pressing issues that you have, looking at digital channels, disruption and so forth? Um, so thank you for in having me and inviting me. Um, our roundtable, I had five really engaged and enthusiastic participants today. Um, we were talking about KPIs, key performance indicators, and how short you might need to set short-term KPIs to drive effective digital uh, campaigns and digital marketing experiences for customers. Um, and we had quite a broad representation of, of companies and also people who were working within a local framework within either UK or a group of countries in Austria and Switzerland or myself at a global level. So we had quite a nice representation around the table as well. Um, and I guess two or three takeaways from the round table. So one is we are all as companies um, trying out and struggling with some KPIs, some KPIs more than others. Uh, one of the biggest challenges at the moment is figuring out how to effectively measure customer engagement. Um, so we might have all these wonderful digital channels and lots of digital content, um, but how do we really check and ensure that they're making a difference to our customers' experiences and our customers' engagement with us, either with our products and our medicines or with us as companies and organisations. So that was kind of the biggest one that we, we talked about across the board and that everyone is still finding quite challenging. Um, we talked quite a bit also about other KPIs, so more operational execution KPIs that some of us have successfully seen implemented in our, at different levels in our organisations. A couple of examples might be um, amount of global marketing content used by a marketing country um, and looking at that, that adoption rate and usage of the campaign materials and the campaign content. Um, and the other one would might be um, uh, how the sales reps have used the e-detail aids, what pages they're working on, what pages have resonated with the customers more than maybe others, and what difference that then makes to the business at a global brand team level who can then inform, either refresh things more quickly um, or, or course correct their strategies as a result. Tell me about a recent campaign that you ran uh, that was innovative and what were the takeaways from it? So I, taught, I shared an example actually from uh, my own experience this year. So we um, attended the European Respiratory Society Congress just actually a few weeks ago um, and we really brought into our stand design and our content design some customer engagement elements and customer engagement metrics in particular. Some examples of that include heat mapping the booth floor to see which brand areas were hotter than others across the, across the floor. Um, we also um, put um, interaction data on our touch screens. So we'd had touch screens in the past, they've been done for a while, but we'd never really measured how, what content people were looking at on these touch screens, how frequently, you know, which pages were most interesting and which were not. Um, now I can't lie, the Congress was not only a couple of weeks ago. We are seeing the data readouts of that on Friday. Um, but really that was the first time we tried some innovative ways of measuring the impact of our, of our content at Congress. And the other big thing that we did is we, we produced um, an interactive wall um, with a film on the 50 year history that GSK has got in respiratory disease and our future in the next 50 years. And it became a real selfie moment actually with our customers who all stood there with photos or dancing in front of the booth because there was music going on as well. And, um, and those were very different. I mean, no one, no one else in the Congress area had got anything that, that innovative. So very proud of that on behalf of our whole team, who uh, it was a big team who put all that together. And I think we can learn from that when we then take that back and translate it in those interactions into a more rep or uh, medical science liaison environment. Um, because some of those measures, I mean, some of the companies at the round table were sharing were still focused on quantitative metrics um, and struggling to think about how you how you how do you measure that customer experience, the qualitative content, um, and change the conversation to be, um, you know, using the multi-channel approach and sort of saying actually as a customer I don't need to meet with you face to face every six weeks. Maybe actually we can have a phone call and you know anecdotal feedback coming back from reps saying well. 
that's been really helpful because actually now in that one phone conversation I've actually moved this customer far further on the journey than I've ever managed in the last six weeks from face-to-face -face interactions. So I think there's learnings from different environments that we interact with customers in that we can then translate back across as well as having the, the core corporate executional ones like I meant that I mentioned earlier around content reuse perhaps and things like that. Looking to the future, how do you see the industry developing within communications, um, specifically around the patient experience and, and HCP training? That's a tough one, right? And I think, if you take the patient one first, you know that many countries can't engage directly with patients. Um, and that makes how we design campaigns or interactions and content um, for patients quite challenging for many of our markets. Um, the exception being the US, obviously, where we can do a lot more. Um, and I think there are some examples in the US of quite engaging and innovative ways of interacting with patients. There's a lot of talk in the industry about interactive apps and, um, uh, and the like across the board. But their longevity has been a challenge, I think. So they start initially, but the longevity is, is the same, I think. It's a, a same challenge that maybe all apps face, whether they're healthcare apps or not, is that actually after three or four weeks, the usage rates drop off. So I think patience is still a big challenge and also an opportunity, an area for opportunity to try out new things and, um, and engage differently. Um, in terms of HCPs, um, I think some of what we discussed actually at the round table, I think should inform our future. So we also need to let go of some of the old KPIs and the old ways of measuring things to help drive new ways of working and more innovative ways of interacting with our customers, whether that's face-to-face or via phone or via email or, or at Congress.